Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC light heavyweight ultimate fighter winner Ryan Darth Bader. You got a big fight coming up uh, in Indianapolis. You're fighting uh, Noguera, mm -hmm. Little Nog. Yep. And uh, how do you feel about this fight? Do you feel it's the biggest fight of your career? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's a great opportunity for me. Uh, you know, he's up there in the you know, top five, top seven you know, guys in light heavyweight division. So great opportunity for me. I feel confident in myself and, uh, and, and in my skills in this fight. Um, you know, he, he's a legend of the sport, and I look up to the Noguera brothers a lot. And, uh, you know, it's an honor for me. I, I want to go out there and fight. It's been a while. You know, I had surgery on my knuckle. I haven't been in the octagon since February. And, uh, you know, I want to be my ultimate goal is to win the championship. And, you know, I got to go, go through Noguera, and I got to take his spot. So that's what I'm going to do. He showed uh, a weakness in his wrestling against Jason Brills. Is that something you, you've studied and went over, uh, you know, given that you've got a, a great wrestling background? Yeah, you, you never can go off of, uh, you know, one fight, you know, of fighters. But, you know, watching that fight definitely, you know, uh, exploited some weaknesses in his game as far as uh, wrestling and scrambling ability. Uh, yeah, something I'm going I'm to take uh, advantage of. And uh, I've been studying that tape a lot and, uh, you know, wanting to mix it up, creating those scrambles and, uh, you know, use my hands and wrestling together. So, yeah, working on that a lot. How have you been preparing your jiu-jitsu because that is his forte? Yeah, I've been working with a couple black belts, you know, working a lot with Kiko France and, and brought some new people in and uh, basically just working a lot of, uh, you know, studying his tapes and, and watching his go-to moves and his sweeps and uh, just training those every day and, you know, and, you know not neglecting my stand-up and, you know, and everything else, my wrestling and, you know, Muay Thai. So, um, you know, I'm just working on it, my jiu-jitsu, a little more exclusively than, you know, in my other past fights, so. Uh, he's known for training with the Brazilian national boxing team, the Cuban national boxing team, as well for his granite chin. Do you feel that Ryan Darth Bader can knock him out? Yeah, I do. I mean, it's MMA. I feel anybody can get knocked out with, you know, small gloves. So, you know, I hit hard and I uh, got power in both my hands. So I'm going to go out there and look to do that. I'm going to look, look to go in there and knock him out. You know, at the same time, you always can't have that game plan. I'm just going to go in there, mix it up, mix everything up. And then, uh, you know, if it comes, it comes. But I'm just going in there to win. What can we expect from Ryan Bader at UFC 119? You can expect a great fight, you know. I'm going to go in there. You know, I want this real bad. I want to reach my goals. So I'm going to put it all out there. And, you know, uh, everybody knowing Noguera knows that he comes to fight too. So it's going to be, it's going to be a great fight. Ryan Bader.